Hey guys, John B here from Phone Arena. I'm taking a look at the HTC Vivids, the upcoming 4G LT smartphone for AT&T. It's going to run a couple different benchmark tests and just show you the quick performance out of the box. Uh, it's worth noting that it's powered by a 1.2 gigahertz dual core, dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon S3 processor, which is coupled with a one gigabyte of RAM. It's pretty similar to the HTC Amaze 4G that was launched recently over on T-Mobile. So here with the home screen with a static wallpaper on board, um, it's fairly responsive with its movement. You can tell between the, the panels here with the Sense 3.0 experience, very swift with its overall uh, movement. So let's just quickly change it up here put in put on a graphically intensive live wallpaper just see how it's going to be tested just a little bit bit more so let's just select the uh, for example let's select the weather one here and you can see the uh, animation in the background the clouds and then just movement again a subtle hint of choppiness but nothing really that bad it's still more than tolerable and you get that uh, carousel view it does it fairly quick here so the response looks pretty much intact uh, doesn't seem uh, um, uh, unbearable let's switch it back to just a static one here and let's just proceed with running the very first graphical I mean uh, first benchmark test we'll run quadrant now we've, we've already ran it which I'm going to show you here uh, what what uh, results I'll be able to put up so let's run quadrant let's go back as we said we ran already and in our few times uh, using it it actually puts up scores at the most 2,000 between 1,500 to 2,000 on quadrant nothing specta spectacular obviously but you know benchmark test results are one thing and actual performance is another so you could base it off whatever you choose uh, right now, these graphical tests roughly around 30 frames per second with their rates. The next one should be loading up here. This one here is running around 29 frames, 30 frames per second. So again, fairly smooth with its uh, operation. And a last graphical test here running at a steady 30 frames per second. So very nice indeed. So here's the uh, first result. Let's see what it puts up this time. So it looks like 1953 is the result here with the Quadrant. So respectable, but of course not as uh, demanding or as uh, monumental when compared to other recent smartphones like the Samsung Galaxy S2, which was able to get even very well into the uh, 3000 mark. We'll just run the test one more time just to see if we get a consistent score here. So as far as just overall performance out of the box, it seems good. Of course, being a high-end smartphone and all, it should exhibit those qualities. Like some, you know, basic phones out there or even some mid-range devices, you could tell that there's a little bit of a, you know, slowdown lag. And um, with this, it's pretty, pretty decent. So here we go, last test and one more. And we should get it right here. So this time, it puts up a score of... 1991 so pretty consistent there uh, again under the 2000 roughly around 2000 mark on the average that we've been seeing nothing that great but still decent enough the other test that we ran is the n22 benchmark test I'm going to quickly show you the results we got out of that and let's go back here here are the results in all the different categories it gave an overall score score of 4571 and we put that in the score chart Let's uh, let's not look at the uh, the Asus Transformer Prime, which has apparently the Quad Core 1.4 gigahertz processor, and from our, some other devices here like the Galaxy Nexus, the Samsung Galaxy S2. It's a little bit behind those devices, even behind the Motorola Zoom, the LG Optimus 2X. Our device is right there, 4571. So it, again, it's not not bad, not great. It's all right, but again, it all depends on how you feel about these benchmark tests. So if you'd like to learn more about the uh, HTC Vivid, you can check out our website, phonerena.com.